honey. You can't control that. The only thing you can control is how you feel. Not how you feel, but how you deal with what you feel that is real. You've got to relax, relate, and release it to me. Come on, honey. Relax, Saying, tell me how you doing, tell me what's popping, how you do, how you do. Oh! Anyways, I was freaking out. You know, what's no? What's really no? But anyway, I kind of feel a little bit sick. Um, I don't have COVID. I'm vaccinated. Alright? So don't come at me. I mean, not to say that me being vaccinated would, would exclude me from having or contracting the disease. But I'm just saying I don't have COVID. It's just, you know, it's getting a bit cold and the rainy weather is really kicking in strong where I'm at here in the Bahamas, so that's that. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad to have you back here with me. Anyways, I look, you look like a mess. It's because my life is a mess, but you know what? We're not gonna. So today I am just going to do this little video that I said I was gonna do like a million years ago which is how I plan my elopement video and it's gonna be nice and quick and easy. If you are considering it, um, I can give you tips and tricks and this is this is simply how I did it. I don't it runs differently depending on where you are. Where I did it, I was in Orlando, Florida, and I think it was quite easy, very cost efficient, very beautiful, very just amazing. So if you watched my last video, then you would know that I am. Who's calling me? Why are you calling me? So if you watched my last video, you would know that your girl is murd. I recently got married this year, this summer. The way in which I did it was I had like an intimate wedding. Um, kind of like a Lopeman style. Um, yeah, it wasn't traditional or big or a bunch of people was there or anything. It was just a ceremony, just us and like a few like one two family members and that was about it it was like really easy weddings aren't as complicated as people make it out to be especially if you know the vision that you want specifically and um well to each of their own because me personally i had like a very nice time planning my own small engagement when i do have my big wedding then i'll be able to elaborate more on that sector but as for right now i can only say from my experience and my experience was a itty bitty 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 it was really intimate so that's that okay so first um outfits are wedding outfits so i got my dress from um i got it from lulu's lulu's.com that has like a number of a lot of simple dresses because i wanted to go simple i didn't want to do the whole shebang a lot of options a lot of different sizes white ivory white ivory <laughs> they have it in a lot of different cup um colors and they're really simple some of them are a little extravagant and um just a little bit not like crazy and they're very expensive i mean they're very inexpensive too so that was good and plus when i actually go for my dream wedding dress i want all of my my girls to be there my mother my besties my besties from the westies to be there and like kind of experience that with me we were legit like driving around orlando for a very very long time trying to find a suit and i can't remember what you got this room I'm feeling a bit sick, y'all, so blimey. Most of the things that I remember is about details <laughs> about me. Not to be not to be selfish, but for him, like it was really easy. All we had to do was like pull up to a store. We went to like a lot of different stores. And I'm not familiar with the places over there, so I can't have the I don't have the names like You you get the vibes. Anyways, so we got his suit, which was also like not expensive either and he didn't rent it or anything he bought it got my veil i wasn't gonna wear a veil 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 i almost said veil <laughs> i wasn't gonna wear a veil but then my mommy was like oh girl you should and i was like mm, maybe it'll be a little cute or whatever i got my veil um specifically from ellie house 
that has she has like a lot of different types of veils short long two tiers one tier three tiers i don't even know how much tiers you can possibly get but i'm pretty sure she has them and she has like a lot of different colors and a lot of different styles Ooh, i just yeah i got my dress and then the first time i got my veil i got the wrong color i had to return it get a next one and all of that was like in a very short period of time i had like three i had three days to get all them stuff done to get like everything done because i was legit getting married like ex like exact like really like you get the vibes um i can't even speak english my brain is like legit pounding right now it's got my shoes from shoe land let me see if i can show it to you guys real quick these bad boys these right here so once i got those things done oh i also got my jewelry from i got my earrings from i don't know macy's i potentially got it from macy's maybe if not i probably got it from burlington burlington so yeah my hair was already done prior like two weeks prior a week or two prior because i had done my hair to do an engagement photo shoot so that was that so on the day of the wedding all i had to do was like you know do some little touch-ups and then i curled it i lightly curled it to get some loose curls and i like had it up like i had it up like from the day of the proposal to the day that i got um married i was legit like not every day but i would like constantly watch like makeup tutorials and stuff because i didn't want anybody to do my face because i've had people done my face before and i really really don't like it so what i did was i bought some makeup stuff from sephora and some beauty stores and i was practicing until i liked the way i wanted my face to be and i did like how i wanted my face to be so that was great so on the day of i did my face I also did my nails y'all because I didn't I couldn't find anybody to do my nails on the time that I needed it to be done the nails was like one of the last things on my mind simply because um I had so much other things on my mind so what I did was and then when I was trying to book appointments to get my nails done I couldn't because they didn't have like times available when I was available so what I did was I bought some press-ons I couldn't find any white press on so I bought some um I think it was light pink or like like pastel pink like very close to my nail color and I just like polished them white so my nails was done my hair was done my makeup was done everything was done and it didn't look bum rushed or like it didn't look like a wish.com version of like an elopement or whatever the case is we legit saved so much to be honest we honestly did and so all of that was done so now we had to look for a location there was a number of locations that we wanted to do it at um first the location where we had the proposal we was considering that so this is like the rank in which we was gonna go if it didn't work out then we would just go with the ladder so it was like a destination slash park slash garden theme like style and then we had a church we need to do it at the church inside the church or outside of the church it don't matter and then we had the courthouse and the courthouse was the last one because i wanted to seal it as like a covenant to god instead of like an agreement with the law so that's why i was like yeah i would really like it if um we do this with like a pastor instead we used to get at different locations and stuff like that because a lot of parks in the u.s and florida and stuff a lot of them are free and a lot of them are beautiful too you can find a lot of beautiful parks and sometimes even if you do have to pay it's not a lot to pay to like go to a park in the states and just like room around take pictures and like have fun so we was like looking at different locations and stuff like that and we went to this park called cypress grove park and it was like really 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 gorgeous and they usually like hold weddings there and they usually plan it for the guests and plan it for the clients and stuff like that but we didn't need all of that we just legit needed the location and so boom we got the location it was legit so breathtaking it was beautiful y'all it was beautiful we had it like underneath the cabana thingy with the lake in the background and the clouds and it was just a beautiful day we got a photographer his name is j rod's creations on instagram he took our photos um 
right after the whole ceremony so that was that and so what I would say is if you're trying to plan an elopement just don't stress to stress if you want to go with the color scheme you could definitely do that but I didn't want I wanted mine to be as simple and as stress-free as possible because we had other priorities at our doors that we had to handle so we weren't really concerned with like all the other intricacies and extricacies of planning a wedding and stuff like that so we just kept it simple we got our outfits we got our rings we got our fishing it we got our location and we got a photographer and that was that other people prioritize different things inside of their weddings and engagements so you can decide whatever you want to be your priority and then you can go from there and then um yeah it's it's your it's your vibes so you know plan your stuff how you want to plan your things you know what i mean like yeah it is what it is and it's not what it isn't and at the end of the day you gotta like it and if you don't like it then i don't know what to tell you because i don't like mine <laughs> But anyways, yeah, that was about it. The ceremony started at 9.30 and we was done with the whole ceremony after 10 o'clock. Like 10.15ish. So all we had to do was like wait on the photographer for him to come. We took the pictures and we was like officially done with everything by 11 o'clock. And so for 12, you know, we um, all of us went on lunch and then my brother and his wife had to leave. The thing is, because it was like, we was like being COVID conscious. So a lot of the things that we wanted to do, we didn't get a chance to do. And so that was like a little bit of a bummer, but that was still okay because we still made the best out of what we had and it was amazing. But if you guys have any questions, don't be afraid to DM me, hit your girl up you know if you have a question or whatever because i'll be more than happy to answer you yeah that's it thank you so much for watching like subscribe do all of that good chunk and i will see you in the next video bye i feel so much better